Hey YouTubers, it's me, Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art. Uh, I thought I'd remind us to put these. Look at the shape of this. It's not on accident. Courage is in the shape of a heart. My granddaughter gave me that for Christmas. She has no idea that I say put your courage feet on, but she told her mom when her mom read her all the different options to get this one. I thought I'd share that with you because uh, I don't know about you, but today where I lived, I was at the end of the, I waited till the end of the parade. It was the longest thing I'd ever seen. I arrived about 45 minutes late. When we got there, it was just like masses of people. Like people were leaving, actually. We thought we missed it. And this guy, lady says, no, 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 it's just kind of falling apart. It's up at the wow hall. And it's so overflowing. Like it's just flowing and it's backed up the whole thing. So people just went into different places and it sort of dispersed. But it kept going for over an hour. And uh, Michael Kerrigan, who sponsored the event, was at the very end with the police. And I ran into him and he said, well, the police told him there were 10,000 people, they estimated. On Facebook, it said 6.7 was going to be there. But they think there was more than that, which I believe because it was the biggest thing I've ever seen in Eugene. I showed up with this. This is why I was late. I was determined. And I did not do it. I fell asleep. I got sidetracked last night. And look at this. I made these up. This is the back of this. I'll post the link. It's an open link on that I'll post. And these are our elected officials. So this is the outside, and this is what you see when you open up. This is the inside flyer. This is not even all of the egregiousness that these people have done. This is not even the tip of the iceberg. I think we need to call our elected Republican officials, if you live in a Republican state, and ask them to please say no to these people. We need qualified people. Qualified. Rick Perry has a BA in animal sciences. Do you know he has an interest? He had an interest in the nuclear waste disposal sites. He has an interest, a financial interest. He sold them in the end. I, think, I believe he has divested himself, or he said he will divest himself. But either way, you think he's not going to be pro-industry? Betsy DeVos had a company for which she was, like, collecting on student loan debt. No wonder she doesn't believe in education, higher education. Mnuchin, Mnuchin, M-N-U-C-H-I-N. Oops, he forgot to tell us about his Cayman Islands and his contacts to Sears. Jeff Sessions didn't tell up to us about how he has really worked to suppress voter rights in his state. He has been very instrumental in getting people together to make that work. Jeff Sessions has a whole series of things that if you look into him, just type Jeff Sessions misconduct, Jeff Sessions sabotage America, Jeff Sessions... Uh, KKK, just check him out. He's not hes not even apologetic. And old Ben Carson, he's a neurosurgeon who's been sued a few times in for malpractice, and they won. He's going to be in charge of housing because, you know, a neurosurgeon knows a lot about housing. So, folks, this is why you must call your Republican friends. That Not your Republican friends, your Democratic, Independent, Republican, Agnostic, people who don't vote, people who tell you to fuck off and say, guess what? These people are fucking serious. It is not a joke. It is not a joke. Urgent, urgent. Call your senators. Call the people that are your elected representatives. You can go to... I live in Washington. Who are my senators? I live in Ohio. Who are my senators? I can tell you who your senators are. Florida, Texas, Alabama, Mississippi, all of the South. Almost the entire South is red. South Carolina has a black senator who, you know, like seriously, Republican. A guy who believes in the Republican agenda. Okay, so you're going to bring your neoliberal ideas in? Then go right ahead. But bring somebody educated, not these insiders. Talk about. These people are not draining the swamp. They're filling the swamp. And we have a vote coming up on Monday and Tuesday, folks. It is time for Americans to be Americans. Democracy only works if you do. 
you must call your Republican senators if you live in a Republican state and say no to these cabinet elected people that he's nominated. No. Give us somebody more educated, Trump. Mr. President, no. We're much more serious. These are not your friends' time. This is about taking care of serious matters in the United States. Give us a serious neocon. We'll vote him right in. I mean, the, the Chicago gang, what were they? The Chicago boys. They were the first neoliberal group. All Republicans, fucking pricks. I hate every one of them. They destroyed Latin America. But if you're going to do that to America, bring in people that can make it not completely collapse immediately, who understand the fucking system. It's outrageous. Americans need to call up and stop these people. We need to demand Trump give us people that are unbiased, people who are not associated with the profits of the industry, and people who understand the mathematics and the science and the physics. I mean, there are people who can do that. These people, they're all in the wrong fucking field. So I'm going to put this up because, you know what, we need to make this video go viral. It is time. Call your senators, and I mean fucking today, folks. Not tomorrow. tomorrow. Call them on Monday. Leave a voicemail. If their voicemail at their office will allow you, call them on Sunday and leave a voicemail. They listen to them. Send them a text. Hashtag Senator No. Demand better cabinet or something like that. Let's get a hashtag going. Call your senators, folks. It's very important. We can stop these people. We do not have to just accept the worst of the stupid ideas. Okay, I do not at all agree with neoliberal ideas. Economic laissez-faire, let's let the industry run our government. That's called fascism in my book. It's not American. But you know what? They have power. They're going to do it. But no, let's don't let the dumbest of the dumb take over. This is what we need this for. Because why aren't you guys going to call? That's the question. Because a female is asking you to call because nobody listens to me because I'm a female. I'm not ranting or raving and dropping the fuck bomb all the time or showing you my tits, which I'm sure many of you do. I've actually made videos naked with just nothing on so that my shoulders are showing because I know, you know what, those videos get the most looks. This is how fucking depraved America is. It's not depraved. It's socially engineered, folks. And we have to have this. We have to admit it. And for those of you, actually, who participate in all of that misogyny, seriously, we need to rethink who we are as human beings and our interactions. It's completely, it is not shop talk. See this video? It's about all the people that we see. We see them every day and we help them or we don't. It's about who we are as a people. So I hope this is who we are as a people. I hope we get off of our high horses and decide that our voice matters. Stop letting them lie to us because it's not true. If you make them nervous, if you contact Rand Paul or John Cornyn, if we got 5 million people to call up Republican senators across this nation, their fucking boots would shake. I guarantee you they would get different people. They might shove some of them down our throats, but not all of them. We could make a change a little bit. Something has to happen. So I'm going to end here. Please take action. Please call your Republican Friends that live with a Republican senator. Find out <clears throat> where the Republican senators are and find out if you know anybody in that area. Post it to your Facebook page. I'm going to post this up. So put your courage feet on because we can at least stave off the course. Ciao.